Starting Autodesk Revit Architecture. There are two basic ways in which you can start Revit Architecture. The first one is many times there's a desktop icon that will be on your desktop. As you can see on my laptop desktop I have a lot of different icons and right here I have one that says Revit 2014. In the CAD lab you'll find one else like this also. But many times these could be deleted, not always there, not always installed. So the method that, th and I recommend just double clicking on these uh, icons, but the method that will always be no matter what machine is to go down to the lower left hand corner and click on the start menu. Then you can go to all programs. Once you're in all programs you can go to Autodesk. And when you're in Autodesk you'll find all the Autodesk products and you'll find in here Revit 2014. And then when you click on that, you'll find again Revit 2014. Now this is a longer method to do it, but it will always work. So you can either click here, or you can click out onto the desktop here. And I'll click on the desktop icon, and you'll find that Revit will launch. The first time it's a little bit slower, uh, because of what's called the first install, it has to set up a lot of its files back and forth, but it'll get quicker than uh, the second time you open it up on your computer. Once it opens, it will come to a screen that will have three sections. Uh, the first section is projects up here on the top. The second section is families down below, and on the right is resources. Let's talk about resources first. These are all the things in which you can learn Revit. Like what's new. This is going to be what's new from Revit 2013. And you also have help. So when in doubt, I always go to help. Very good help. We also have some essential skills videos. These are professionally done videos by Autodesk to get you up and started. I highly recommend these. You can get an app for that. Uh, even in Revit, you can get an app. We also have a wiki command, which is a community-led help, uh, so people add to the help uh, files. And we also have a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, uh, community site uh, for people in Revit and uh, 3D Civil. Also, we'll go down to uh, families. Families are a method in which if we don't have an, an object that we want in our uh, project, such as let's say we need a bookshelf. We can design our own bookshelf. Now we design it in 3D parametrics, uh, so that means uh, it, we can change the height, the size, the width. We can change how many uh, shelves there are. Uh, we can change uh, the finish uh, of the of the shelf. So it has all these programmable parameters that you have to program in. We won't cover this in this class, um, but many people will do this. Uh, as a side to build uh, different things that they can't find just by going out to the internet and going finding a bookshelf. Uh, they might want to design their own style of bookshelf. What we will use a lot is the projects. There are no files in, in, in Revit, just a project. It has one project file. So we can open up an existing project. We can create a new project from scratch or we can open up a template when we create a new project. We have four different templates to pick from and most of the work we'll do in, in the class will be an architectural template. We also have a sample project uh, that we can open up and that allows things already built and done so that we can kind of look and feel and, and play around with it. So I do recommend that you open up the sample project and just look around. Don't change anything. Just keep it there for reference so at any time you can always go back and look at a finished good project and see what it looks like. 